Max! Max, are you alright? Stay back! Max, calm down and put down everything. I... I... I, I didn't want to tell. She made me... She made me... I didn't want to. I didn't want to. Is Owen okay? Wait, what about Owen? Okay, Owen can wait. Max, Max, I need you to put the room down. Stop panicking and explain. I'm really, really sorry about this. You... You hugged me. Yeah, again, really sorry. But now that you're calmer, I need you to tell me what's going on. The alert system showed something weird in Tier 5, so I went to check on Joan. Then I got locked in a stairwell and had to ram my way out. Whoever's responsible for making me ram my way through a steel door at 75 miles per hour is in for a real talking to. It's Helen. What's Helen? The the, the lights, the, the lockdown, all of it. Helen, who was in Tier 5. The woman Joan was interviewing earlier today? Is Joan? She, she didn't want Joan. She just asked me about Owen. I promised Jackson. I, I didn't want to tell her. But she, she did this thing. This piercing, high-pitched noise. I, I thought my head was going to explode. I need to go check on Joan. Please don't leave me. I have to, but Please. for a second, okay? Super speed, remember? I'll be right back. Everything's going to be fine. Okay. So things are not great out there. You told me everything was going to be fine. And I meant it. Mean it. I, I still mean it. Oh my god. She's, she's going to kill us. Max, I need you to keep it together. Did Helen want anything else? What? Besides Owen, did she want anything? Did she tell you? Did you tell her anything else? I... I, I told her about the serum. I, I mentioned it on accident. And then she asked... I had to tell her. She made me tell her. It's okay, Max. Nobody will blame you. It wasn't your fault. But like I said, things out there. Look, we can't stay in here. They need our help. What can I do? I can only use my ability when I'm freaking out. Yeah, and you can't have that. Max, the power is down. A lot of the doors are locked. Dr. Sharp and the others working on the serum. What? What happened? Tell me. Dr. Sharp. She's dead, Max. Stop! You have to keep it together! Look, things are too messed up for you to fall apart on me! The power is down, Max. Alex. Exactly. Someone needs to manually keep him sedated or who knows what could happen. We do. We know what could happen. He could melt down. In which case, you absolutely cannot melt down. You need to be the one to keep him under. Me? But what? Unless you want to be the one to track down Helen. I, 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 I'm sorry. That was... Awful. That was an awful thing to say. She hurt me, Jackson. I'm not just being a wuss. I'm sorry. Really. But... But we all need to do our part to make sure that this situation gets handled, and Alex is a really, really important part of that. I understand. And I accept your apology, but don't do that again. I won't. But you need to get to Alex's med bay. How do you know it's safe? The way to his bay is clear. Helen probably doesn't even know about it since he's kept off the grid. And what about you? What's your part? I'm going to go find Joan. From Luminary Media, you're listening to the AM Archives. This is episode 11, Beggars Can't Be Choosers, by Octavia Bray.
Joan? Joan! How is this not going faster? Who are you and what are you doing to the wall? Oh, huh. Don't mind me, soldier. Just carry on about your business. Anything happening on this tier is my business. What are you doing down here? Hey, don't take this the wrong way, soldier boy. I love the digs, but I'm busting out. Uh, what the hell just happened? I iced the floor. Nothing against you, I just need you to leave me alone so I can concentrate. <sighs> What's your name, man? I've been here for over three years. The least you all could do is learn my name. Cut me some slack. I'm kind of new to the job. Oliver Ritz. Jackson Crawford. Charmed, I'm sure. Well, it's been great catching up, but perhaps you've noticed the outside doors are locked and there are unconscious bodies piled around every corner. I'm getting out of here. What are you doing? I'm transmuting the wall. I'm a little rusty, so it's slow going. Your ability is transmutation. You know what? If it's all the same to you, I'd prefer not to give a complete stranger all the details of my life. I don't know you, but I know who you work for. Oliver, I need you to come with me. <laughs> come with you? You're not going anywhere. Good. I'm all good. Okay, one more right turn, then, then two quick lefts, and I won't be on my own anymore because I'll be with Alex. I mean, he could blow up and kill me at any moment, but but that's a problem for future Mags. Present Mags would rather hang out with a ticking time bomb than run into the person who killed her friend. Oh, Andrea. Okay, two more lefts, and then and then I'm there. This is fine, this is fine. This is fine. This is, oh, I'm here. Oh, thank God. I made it. She finds this room but can't see inside. Maybe she won't want to look in here. Every little bit helps. Jeez, oh, it's warm in here. Oh, Alex. Okay. Manual sedation. Dr. Sharp showed me how to do this in case of emergencies. I just I just need to find, um... Okay, syringe. Check. Local disinfectant. Check. Sedative. Check. Okay, now I'll just fill up the syringe. All right, ready to go. How does a nice nap sound, Alex? I'll just disinfect the administration site. I will not be disinfecting because you are way too hot to touch right now. I'm just gonna guess that you're disinfected, like when you boil something and all the germs come off, right? Okay, this is, this is fine. <sighs> Alex, I'm gonna need you to stop making it hotter in here. It's hard to even get close to you. Ah! 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 Oh, you're too hot. I'm not gonna be able to get close to you without burning myself. Mags, on. You're telekinetic. Just guide the syringe over and shove it in. Right. Yeah, okay, I got this. Just guide the syringe. Oh, God, there's no point. Oh, Damn it! I'm sorry, Alex. I, I, I don't have the precision. I never have. I'll probably stab you in the eye. I'm gonna let everyone down. Even if Helen doesn't kill us all, I will because I can't get it together and do one thing right.
No. 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 We are not all going to die today, and even if we do, it's not going to be because of me. I never liked this jacket anyway. Okay? I'll just, I'll just wrap my hands in this, and um, also, uh, uh, gauze, uh, tape, all right, all right. Let's do this. Looks like the best sight is his shoulder. All right. What did you just do to me? I made the floor solid around your shoes. It was easy. Just changing molecules in the air and adding those to changed molecules in the ground. So you're not just a transmuter, you're an alchemist. And you're not as dumb as you look, I guess. What are you doing to the wall? I'm using the oil in my hands and the water I can pull from the atmosphere to turn it into cement. Uh, how's that going for you? Very slowly. These walls are thick and it is getting very very dry in here. Look, Oliver, you have to let me go. There's a lot of bad stuff going on, and I need to find my friends. Well, you'll be safer if you stick with me. <laughs> Tell you what, you let me use your skin oils, and I'll let you slip out of here with me. Uh, thanks for that disgusting offer. Well, beggars can't be choosers. Well, I'm choosing to stay here. There are people here that need help. There's a murder on the loose, man. You mean someone's actually dead? Damn, all the more reason to get out of Dodge. I can't do that. Not without knowing everyone else is safe. Come on, man. Don't you have friends? People you care about. People you never want to see get hurt. Yeah, I did. Once. Let me guess. Before the AM locked you up. Actually, no. Though I bet you hear that all the time. Must get old. Been hearing it a lot lately. But it doesn't get old. Bam has to own its shit, you know? Hmm. You're alright, soldier boy. So those friends, what happened to them? <sighs> they were my co-workers. I worked for the DOD, and it kind of became my life. Hence, co-workers became friends. Yeah, I know how that goes. Do you? You know, you seem okay, but that hasn't been my experience with most employees here. Well, some of them might surprise you. There are people here who are really trying. People who are... who are good. And strong. And worth protecting. Mm, I think maybe in your case there's a co-worker who's become more than a friend. Hmm? Just tell your story, man. Touchy. Well, I was working on a certain... Device. A bomb? No, actually. Well, not at first. What does that mean? It means... Look, look, my ability made me very, very good at what I did. A little personal experimentation, changing this to that, figuring out which molecule reacted in what way. I was an incredible asset. Until? Until I got a little riled up in the workplace. There was a woman involved, passions were inflamed. And then something else went up in flames. Okay, don't try to be clever. It doesn't work with your whole vibe. I might have accidentally transmuted something that should have just stayed, you know, muted. That's when you made a bomb? That's when I accidentally made a bomb. Everyone in the lab thought I'd done it on purpose. As if I'd ever put my own feelings before my job. Before science. Nobody ever mentions that I fixed things. How did they even find out about it? 
The AM works closely with the government. I'm sure they use the same eyes watching our every move, same ears listening in on every word. However they found me, they found me. And then they locked me up with people who wouldn't have unmade a bomb. That's... That's awful, man. Mm-hmm. I know something about being put in the wrong place. Yes. I believe you do. You can't leave. Your ability could help us stop the woman responsible for this. <laughs> I should have known it was a woman. The shit happening around here is downright diabolical. I'm not super equipped to unpack all that right now, but Oliver, man, come on. You don't want to break out of here. That's exactly what I want. It's what I'm doing right now. Nah. If you get out of here the wrong way, someone will just bring you back. That's not what you want. You're closing Tier 5. There'd be nowhere to bring me back to. Come on, man. The AM? They'd find a way. So you don't want to go like this. Are you threatening me? I'm just trying to give you the score. So what am I supposed to do? Help me. Help all of us stop the person behind us and get out of here the right way. Well, how do I... Greetings, AM. This is your captain speaking. Who's that? Is that... The woman of the hour. I know all of you must be wondering when this will end. Believe me, I understand. I'm tired too. But all of this can end if you just give me what I want. All I want is one teensy tiny little thing. One teensy tiny little person. Joan Bright. No. Hmm. Let me guess, that's your more than friend. Shut up. This doesn't have to be hard. And I promise that the person who brings me Joan will be completely unharmed. And Joan, if you're listening, I just want you to help me. That's your job, right? Helping atypicals be their very best selves. All I'm asking you to do is your job. But if you won't come, or if no one else delivers you to me, then I'll comb every inch of this godforsaken building until I find you. And every person I find who isn't you? Well, they're gonna get a nasty surprise. Just ask Dr. Sharp. Be seeing real soon. Wow, that chick is a real piece of work. It'd be kinda hot if it weren't so, you know, lethal. Shit. I don't have any more time for this. Jesus, how the hell did you do that? I moved so fast I shook the floor apart. It's just science, man. <laughs> come on, you must appreciate that. Now. Hey, what, what are you You're gonna doing? come with me to find Joan, and then you're <sighs> gonna help me save the day. Well, how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but I'm not leaving you here to get killed next to three inches of wet cement. You'll come in handy somehow. Gee, thanks. Can you at least put me down? No can do. Speed is of the essence, and you don't have what I have. Just... Don't turn me into a snail or something, okay? Yeah, that's not how it works. Hold on tight. We're going to find Joan. Starting Monday, July 1st, tune in for a four-week companion bonus series, Order and Chaos, written by Megan Fitzmartin. The AM Archives is brought to you by Luminary Media and is a production of Atypical Artists. The series is written by Lauren Shippen, Octavia Bray, and Kaylin Schneiderhan. This episode was written by Octavia Bray. In it, you heard the voices of Bryce Charles as Mags, Dion Earle as Jackson, Christian Brune as Oliver Ritz, and Helen Highfield as Helen. This episode was directed by Lauren Shippen and sound designed by Misha Stanton. Original score by Evan Cunningham. The AM Archives is produced by Lauren Shippen, Jordan Cope, Brigham Snow, and Evan Cunningham. Thank you for listening, and stay strange. <laughs>